and we're printing the Honda Grill Mount emblem on the Robo 3D printer here. And we've got most of the structure printed so far. We're just starting to uh, print the face. Like basically, uh, prints with the screws down and the face on top so you get a nice finish on the top. And we are getting close to the finished printing here. Here I am with the finished printed part and before I remove the support structure I want to clear the holes. This one's not too bad. There's just a little bit right there. But this one is impacted and I'm going to like remove this whole piece before I even try to take the rest of the support structure off. So I got the impacted piece cut off of there. Like so. And that one's clear on this side now. So now I can go ahead and take the carefully take the support structure off. Um, I do it by using this guy and just go around the. I'll start on the corner and go work slowly work around the edge. So if you do everything right, it should pretty much come apart. Like so. Two good screw posts. And not like that. Or like that. But hopefully like that. And this was done with glow in a dark PLA. Let's see if this will glow. Alright, it's probably kinda of hard to see, but yes, it is glowing. <laughs> So we have the chrome one and the glow in the dark one. <laughs> and it's not exact, but it's pretty close. I can hold it on there. Something like that. So here's the first one. Posts are way too short. Plus, this has issues. Then I think this is the second one. Uh, nested screws. Yeah, I had a hard time getting rid of those internal faces to uh, get a good object to print. Uh, but I finally got it. That was part of the issue. This one as well. A hollow space. Uh, if you don't get rid of the internal faces, You'll get hollow spaces in your prints or they won't print right. But anyway, I finally got it, but this one was just the removing the structure and it like broke off. But uh finally, yes indeedy, got a good print. So I got my piece and I got some I believe these are M8 coarse thread nuts here. On this guy, and then I got some washers to put it on from the back. Um, but basically I'm going to take these off. And now that I have it off, now I can put it on my vehicle here. And now I just got to put the nuts and the bolts on from the back. So I ended up taking off my grill so I could get at the bolts easier. There they are from the back side. Take the grill off. And there it is on the front. Pretty hard to see because it's dark in here, but that is the CRV <laughs> and the hoodie. <laughs>